No, the big news out of Buffalo is that head coach Sean McDermott has benched Tyrod Taylor for rookie Nathan Peterman. So for those of you who have Tyrod Taylor on your roster, and by the way, he's rostered in almost 80% of leagues, you're going to need to make other plans for Sunday and probably the rest of the year as well. So should you grab Nathan Peterman? Look, he looked pretty solid last week, 7 of 10, 79 yards, and a touchdown. But he entered the game down 40 to 3, okay? Until we see how Peterman performs in a non-blowout, I can't recommend rostering him, let alone starting him on Sunday. For this week, if you need somebody with a track record, and that's what I recommend, there are four veteran quarterbacks available in more than 50% of ESPN leagues. Starting with Eli Manning, he faces the Chiefs. Andy Dalton is at Denver. Fitzmagic, want a little Fitzmagic? Ryan Fitzpatrick is at Miami, and Case Keenum, who was awesome last week, is home against the Rams. For the rest of the season to replace Tyrod, my choice of those would be Dalton, who after Denver, and by the way, they're not the Broncos defense anymore, gets four of the next five at home. But for this Sunday only, actually, I prefer Eli Manning. Look, despite the disaster that is the Giants, Manning has averaged 14.9 fantasy points per game over the last two weeks. Do I think the Giants will lose big to the Chiefs this week? I do. But that means game flow should lead to lots of opportunities for Eli to throw. Don't forget, Kansas City top 10 in terms of most fantasy points allowed. So grab Eli for your fantasy team if you're looking for a quarterback this week. Just be sure not to grab any Giants for an actual football team.